I'm James Bernard. I've been working for Propellerhead Software for many years now. I am artist relations. I am also a product specialist, and I'm also part of the sound design team. So I do a fair amount of the patches and stuff, especially for Reason 6. Reason at its initial inception was meant to be sort of the software replacement for what you had, would have been doing with hardware. So in the old days, back when Reason first came out, it was meant to replace a MIDI production studio. The main sort of idea behind the software has always been sort of give you the shortest path from inspiration to creation. And that's kind of been our mantra from day one with Reason that's continued on through now. Pulverizer is one of, one of my faves because it really does add a new breath of life to sounds in Reason that, not that it wasn't achievable, but it did take a few more steps to try and squeeze that out. Um, whereas in the, when you use the pulverizer on tracks, it just instantly breathes this sort of character into a sound where you can go from just a subtle sort of extra little spice to just way over the top. These days I'm putting like a pulverizer on every single channel. Well, um, to, to describe Thor sort of as a product, it's, it's technically a semi-modular synthesizer, which has a number of synthesis methods uh, as your sound generation, plus a number of different filter slots and ways that you can modulate or change sounds uh, using a modulation bus. Um, so that really opens up a lot of possibilities for sort of synthesis because then everything becomes malleable and any source, whether it be audio or voltage sources, becomes something that could be used in music. So it, it really just sort of expands your mind as to what you can do with sound. And I would say the, the, the really interesting is that it really begs experimentation. Alligator is a triple filtered gate. Um, it's an effects processor that takes audio that's coming in and divides the audio into three specific frequency bands. There's a crossover in there, so you've got high, mids, and lows. And as the signal passes through the chain, you can do things like filtering with LFO, envelopes, um, so you can make sure the sounds are really short and staccato, pan them left to right, um, distortion, phaser, delay, just a whole gamut of effects that are just built into the one unit, so it's, it's really good for pads. I use it a lot on um, things like guitar, sort of strums or held chords, vocals if there's a sustained note, it's really nice on, and drums, I actually run drums through it and we'll take like the mids and the highs of the drums and maybe circle them around the head while the, the lows are staying tight and constant. So it's sort of, sort of out there and open for more experimentation. It's a whole new world now. Um, you, you can mix your track entirely in the box, in the computer, and, and get that professional sounding mix without having to do all those extra steps that were required, really, in, in, in Reason 5 or below. Having everything sort of laid out like it would be on a professional mixing console, where it's just in line and you've got your dynamics, the feed into the EQs and your aux sends, and everything's sort of right there, it just makes the whole process of mixing much, much, much more musical. This is our first sort of approach into the hardware world. And, you know, it's a standard two in, two out audio interface, but as you can see, it's, it's you know, oozing with Swedish design and, and style. And more than just being aesthetically pleasing, there are some things that this device will do or functions that you get when you use it with Reason 6 that are pretty unique. With ClipSafe on, what it does is it actually takes the second input and drops it down by a number of dB and records that as well, but it does not swap the audio files out. What it does is it uses that second recording. It redraws the clipped portions using that second waveform as the source to redraw the waveforms. So magically, just flick, it just fixes the clipped portions and it will redraw above zero dB as well. So you don't lose any transients or any sound that's there. It's sort of magic and it only happens with the communication from this piece of hardware to Reason 6 only.